for being with us on the Feast of St. Josephine Bakita. Our top story tonight, the U.S. Supreme Court held a first-of-its-kind hearing the justices will determine if former President Trump and current Republican presidential candidate should be kept off the ballot because of his role in the January 6, 2021 insurrection. The case centers on Colorado's ballot, and as Eric Rosales reports, the outcome could impact the presidential election nationwide. Good evening. Section 3 of the U.S. Constitution's 14th Amendment, which passed just after the Civil War, got a modern-day test today before the justices of the U.S. Supreme Court. Former President Donald Trump's attorneys argued that the president cannot be kept off any ballot because the law is clearly on their side, and the president never participated in any riot. So if a state banned even an admitted insurrectionist from the ballot, it would be adding to and altering the Constitution's qualifications for office, because under Section 3, the candidate need only qualify during the time the candidate holds the office to which he's been elected. Trump's attorney contends January 6 wasn't an insurrection, and even if it was, Trump never participated. Lawyers for Colorado voters disagree. The attack was incited by a sitting president of the United States to disrupt the peaceful transfer of presidential power. By engaging in insurrection against the Constitution, President Trump disqualified himself from public office. Several Republican senators showed their support on the Supreme Court steps. Well, they're scared of President Trump because he believes in our country. He believes in the 248 years that we've been here that we've done it the right way. When the Democrats say that they're defending democracy, what they're doing is trying to scoop up power for themselves. Democratic Senator Dick Durbin wanted Justice Clarence Thomas to recuse himself. There's no question that his life was uh, uniquely positioned in the political debate on election denial. Uh, I think it would have been in the best interest of the court and the reputation for him to step aside. Speaking from his Florida home, Donald Trump says he felt his case went well and reminded Americans the words he used that day. I said peacefully and patriotically. The speech was called peacefully and patriotically. It's pe peacefully and patriotically. He said I said bad statement. It was the exact opposite. One thing all parties can agree on, that this is a case of national importance and only the nation's highest court can decide this election year. Also want to let you know about the latest on the foreign aid bill, money for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan. Senators have started debate on that issue without any border reforms. Outside the U.S. Supreme Court, Derek Rosales, EWTN, News Nightly.